Let's consider the examples of boron trifluoride and nitrogen trifluoride. They have similar formulas, but BF3 is a trigonal planar shape. You can think of it as flat on your screen. The fluorine atoms are more electronegative, so we can draw the dipoles going towards the fluorine atoms. Notice the dipole moments are equally going away from the central boron atom. Thus, the distribution is symmetric and the molecule is nonpolar. On the other hand, nitrogen trifluoride, NF3, has a lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen atom. So the three fluorine atoms are pushed below the plane. This results in a trigonal pyramid shape. I'm using the wedge and dash notation to indicate the directions. The solid wedge shows a fluorine atom coming out of your screen, while the dashes show a fluorine atom going into your screen. You can imagine the pyramid shape. We can show the dipole moments towards fluorine, the more electronegative atom, and see that the dipole moment distribution is going below the plane or under the atom in this view. The dipole distribution and thus the electron charge distribution is asymmetric and the molecule is polar. We can draw a molecular dipole to represent this. This can also be represented by an electrostatic potential map. The red area indicates high electron density and the blue area low electron density.